hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how basically we can insert the data which is present inside a csv file which is a comma separated value file directly inside our uh, mysql table you can see this is our table here which is hosted on php my admin which is i'm using exam control panel this is a software which comes with apache server and mysql database and we have created a table out there which contains three columns name age country and id is the primary key and now we will be inserting the data coming from a csv file here csv file if you don't know it's a comma separated value let me create a file here for you file dot csv so let's suppose if you want to generate or insert this data inside this table we don't need to uh, insert the id it will auto increment because it's the primary key of the table we will be inserting the name age country so we can just inside this we can say the name to be Gotham age 25 india then we have the another name john 24 new zealand then we have david 45 england and this is the fourth record let me say jim usa so you can see we have four records out there four rows are there and now we just need to transfer this data directly into the table right here so what we can do is that we can use this file here which we have made so let me just see yes flask let me choose the file here inside my projects directory i can choose this file here which is flask app this is a file we have created flask click on submit you will see that it is saying that no such file or directory let me see uh, okay you need to create an uploads directory guys so right here in order to, for this application you need to create a uploads directory so that all the uploaded files will be there inside this directory so once again if you run this application click on this so you will see nothing happens but if you now check your da uh, table you will see directly all the data will be inserted Gotham, John, David, Jim you can see all this data that we defined right here inside this file.csv it is transferred to our MySQL database using the simple Python script which we have written inside Flask web framework so it's a web application where we basically provide this HTML form and we are inserting this data dynamically into the MySQL table so all the source code guys I have given in the description of this video this is my step-by-step -step blog post where I have written all the source code you can copy paste all the source code with watching this video the link is given in the description so now let's get started I will write this script from scratch so let me delete all this code so just guys just make a templates folder and just create an index.html file here so here we will be writing our html code and now inside app.py here we will be writing the python code so for the first time we just need to import the flask module and from that we need to import flask we will also import render template request and redirect also and then url4 as well and after that we need to also import the operating system module and also we will be importing the mysql.connector library which will be basically connecting the library for us to mysql database and then we will be initializing a simple flax app guys like this and we will be setting the config directory which is debug we will make it to true so that we can show the errors as well inside our flask application after this guys we will be setting the upload folder so this will be the upload folder we will call this as uploads and then in the next line we will set this folder inside this config array which is a property we will give here and we will initialize the path here to this upload folder like this that's it so for this you just need to create this uploads directory before you run this python script so you will see all these files will be uploaded here let me just delete this so now we have this file here and after this guys we just need to connect to our database so we will have the connection code mydb so we will use this connector library it contains a method connect and inside this basically it takes four options first is basically the host name host is similar the default value is localhost then we have got the user which is root user which is a default user and password which is empty right here like here and the database name 
So database, if you see, we have created Excel dot Excel DB. This is our database name. That's it. So after you make this information, we just need to initialize our cursor. So this will make the connection. We need to call a function which is my DB dot cursor. That's all. So now it will get access to our table guys with this much of code here. Now we just need to if you are not you can just go to this uh, section and if you haven't created the table first of all you need to create a table let me guide you how to create this let me show you the structure basically you just need to create id name age country these are the four columns out there id is the primary key so that's why it is auto incremented so just create this table first of all and after this we can just make this so we will have a simple route we will have a simple route here so whenever user opens the home route we will basically run a function so here we will use the render template and we will show this index.html file so now we just need to define this simple form here guys so inside this form we will have a simple h1 heading that uh, upload csv file and then we will have a simple form element the action will go to nothing method is post and encoding type will be multi-part form data and after this inside this we will have a input type file and basically name attribute will give to file and then we will have a simple submit button so when you click the submit button guys basically your file will be uploaded into the uploads directory right here so now we can run this flask application python app.py if you run this so nothing happens because we haven't started the application so right here at the bottom side you need to start this application at a particular port number so just right here if name is equal to main and then we just need to run this application on port number 5000 you can see it is running on port 5000 so if i now run this application it will run this application on localhost 5000 if i refresh you will see your file which is upload csv file this is the form here this is basically the form now we just need to make a simple post request to the same route which is the home route so we will define this route here in the next line which is this one so we will have the route here which is this time we will put a comma and we will make use of this methods so this will be a array here which is initialized to post that's it so now here we will be defining a function which will execute which will be upload files so inside this function first of all we will upload the file so we will create a uploaded file variable and we will get the actual file which is selected by the user which is request.files and here you just need to provide the name attribute whatever name attribute you have given so you will see file after this we just need to check in the if condition that if uploaded dot file name is not equal to nothing so here we just are checking that if the user has selected a valid file or not so then we will simply upload this using the operating system dot path dot join module and here we will be uploading it to the config folder which is we have initialized it upload folder and after this we will pass the actual file which is uploaded file file name that's all this will actually upload the file guys and now we will see actually save this file uploaded file dot save and we will save this file path that's all so this will actually upload the file inside this uploads directory and now if i just run this just show to you what is happening here now if i select csv file here and try to submit click submit you can see the view function of upload files did not return a valid response the function either return 
okay we just need to return uh, and the next line we can just write a simple return statement we will redirect the user to the same home page which is url4 and here we will provide the index route that's all so this will simply redirect the user to the home route you will see the file is uploaded file.csv that we uploaded right here so file is uploaded so now we simply need to basically call a function after uploading the file we will call is the simple function parse csv this function we will define and inside the argument we will pass the actual file that's all so now we just need to define this function which will actually extract the information from the csv file and then insert it to the mysql table so here this will be the function here we will be passing the file path so inside this guys we will now define first of all our column names so column names will be the name age and country after this we will simply say here csv data and for this guys we are using the pandas library so it make sure that you import this pandas library at the very top so just import pandas as pd that's all and after you import this you just need to basically use a simple method which is available inside this pandas library which is read csv so you can read excel files csv files all that stuff it's a very popular library of python so here we can simply pass a the file path which file we need to read file path and after this we just need to also pass the names as well so names is equal to column names which we have defined and the third argument is header so this will be initialized to none as we don't have a header row that's all and now basically we will loop through the all the data which is there for i row in csv data dot uh, i iter rows so it will iterate all rows here and inside this first statement we will basically insert this row into the mysql table so insert into the table name which is users and then we will define the column names which is name age country and then we just need to define the values here which is uh, this one like this you can just write like this that's all so this is your sql statement now we just need to execute this sql statement so we will make value and the value we will pass here row name the next one we will pass here row age and then we will pass row country that's all so this is the data that we need to insert and now we can simply use my cursor dot execute and here we will pass the sql query alongside with the data that we have inside value that's all so after doing this guys we will simply commit so we will simply call mydb.commit that's all so now your application is complete guys now let me test it out if i go to the browser just refresh your application start this application so now if you choose this and basically if I delete all the data here which is there let me delete this data so you can see nothing is present right here and now if I upload this file click submit nothing happens but now if I check this you will see the data is inserted so in this easy way guys you can insert the data which is coming from a csv file directly to mysql table the link is given in the description of this video of all the source code please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video